the name of this movement is swinging forward and back and from side to side with circles. Let's organize ourselves. Let the neck be free to let the head go forward and up, to let the back to lengthen and widen. Take the thoughts to the eyes, back and apart. Once again, we look towards the horizon, find something to look at with interest so that you don't focus too much and allow the panoramic view to come to you. With this, actually with these thoughts, take the thoughts to the knees, think them forward and away, and take it into action. And the action this time will take us to a monkey. So there is a moment in which once I and up and back, I consciously tilt myself forward from my hip joints and I maintain my directions and notice the relief to the lower back. And I can start the movement now. I start to swing the arms forward and back parallel to each other and I follow them with my eyes and you notice that there is a coordination between the arms and the legs. It's up and knees, up and knees, up and knees. You can take it faster, faster and faster and faster. Up and knees, up and knees. Up and knees, start to slow. Down, slower, and slower, and slower, and slower. And now you are ready to circle. And same way up, and swing, and swing. From side to side a little bit. Up. And take them towards you. Now we'll start the second part of the movement. Repeat directions. Neck, head, eyes. Big knees, send them forward and away, take yourself to a monkey over the hip joints, notice that your gaze is now a little bit low, you don't look forward now, widen your base, just swing a little bit from side to side and let's add the arms to the movement. So we swing them from side to side now, both looking at them. I can move them while I'm just staying on my base without changing. And I can walk. And the whole activity is now slightly different. Bring it back to the front. And now we slow down. And we circle. And back. And it's one, and two, three, and 
four, circling, bending, and come to quiet. 